What up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Energy Report. I'm your host, Pablo, and joining me as always is Mr. Brian Schultz. Brian, I've mentioned it in the past. The first time I heard of the possibilities was a conversation that I had with Alex Bernstein. He said Disney would buy uh, DCIP. And that was a long time ago. And now we're getting, I, I, I sent you, uh, I guess, I, I think I was trying to send a sort of analogy. And that was they're squeezing the orange before <laughs> they get rid of it. They're, they, they're squeezing the juice out of this IP before they're no longer going to deal with it. Brian, now we're hearing, this is confirmed, correct? That's good. Well, it's been confirmed that hmm. they haven't signed a contract, but they've confirmed the talk. So we had a official from Warner Brothers saying this is in progress and they're working on it. That DC, that DC animated content is going to be um, streamed on Amazon. Is going to be going to Amazon. That's huge, Brian. <laughs> yes, it is. What did you think, Brian, when you heard this? Because I knew, I know what I was thinking. When I was like, "Here, it, let it begin." Yeah, I think there's a couple of couple of couple of Sudoku <laughs> pieces here. Um, first is, I, the first thing I thought of was Cape Crusader because we know that Amazon was at the table with Warner Brothers about this particular project. And I just wonder if that conversation started to morph into a, hey, what if we did this? Or not just Cape Crusader, what, what if we helped each other out a little bit here? My second thought was Warner Brothers needs cash, man. You can, this stock is under enormous pressure. You know, you, I, you know, you can not to talk financial markets, but I mean, you know, interest rates have gone up a lot. Debt is a lot more expensive. Uh, there's just pressure across the market on companies to, you know, deliver profits, deliver cash flow. And so Warner Brothers is struggling for that right now. They need cash. You know, that's why I like things like Black Adam struggling at the box office, that matters. Like they could have pocketed a couple hundred million of profit on a movie like that. That helps right now. Yeah, Remember, yeah. This, is a this is a company that punted marketing and going to Comic-Cons for a lot of its 2023 films because they were out of money. They basically yeah. could only promote Black Adam in 2022. So I think part of this is Amazon is looking at the landscape and saying, we do not have a lot of established IP in the superhero genre. We've done well with The Boys. We've done well with Invincible, but we need scale. Everything Amazon does is scale. That's what they think. They yeah. think big. That's why they are big. So they're looking at who's wounded. Who's wound? Who can we go to with some leverage and strike a deal? And so they say, Warner Brothers, you have DCIP. We have cash to burn. We have distribution. And you are de-emphasizing HBO Max as you fold it into a single streaming app at Discovery. It makes sense. It makes sense why these two are talking. And I yeah. think Cape Crusader is going to be one of those properties. Now, what we don't know, Pablo, is we don't know exactly what the division is going to be. Like, what's staying in the DC library and the DC original productions on the HBO, um, the Warner Brothers app, and what's going to Prime Video in the future? That we don't know yet. It's not going to be like a hundred percent shift, is is the understanding. So, is, let me ask you this. So Amazon is going to be producing DC animated stuff. So my understanding is yes. And I think this is gets into another leg of this discussion. So one thing we heard about with Rings of Power was because Amazon didn't give you the full ratings of Rings of Power. But one thing they said publicly was that after Rings of Power came out, they noticed that the viewership for a lot of their other shows went up a lot. So like, People who came on to the service to check out the Lord of the Rings service or series stuck around to watch Wheel of Time, Terminal List, The Boys, other things. I think that probably sent Amazon on a little bit more of a crusade to say, huh, if we can get more of that established IP, we can 
get more people in our ecosystem more broadly. So I don't think it's a coincidence that you and I went on a pretty huge diatribe at the expense of Sony last week. Well, who's their, who's their streaming partner for, for what yeah. we're afraid of? It's Amazon. And now Amazon's making moves on DC animated. Like we're hearing that a week later. Yeah. Again, what's the common denominator? Sony has no streamer. They're a little bit wounded. They're smaller. They don't have the scale. Warner Brothers struggling for cash. You're not going to see this with Marvel because they don't have a problem. Like Disney's fine. Mm -hmm. They don't have that. There's no inroad there. Mm -hmm. So they're getting deep, getting their hooks into DC, getting their hooks into Spider-Man. Like, and yes, I connect this to, they're talking about on the Spider-Verse side, right? We talked about, we made fun of them. Like the suite of shows, 900 characters. They're also committing to putting out eight, you know, Amazon Studios also made a public commitment. Eight to 10 films going theatrical every year now from Amazon Studios. They own MGM, right? They got James Bond. Like, is it so far-fetched that you start with a partnership like this and it leads somewhere else? It leads to Amazon saying, hey, you know, yeah, you 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 canceled stuff like Batgirl in the past, but like, you want to throw us a few of the, we'll backstop, we'll backstop some of that. You know, the Blue Beetle, you don't want to, you don't want to front that franchise. We'll take it. I, I think that's the, the iteration beginning. of it, right? Yeah. yeah, this is the beginnings of it. This is the testing ground. Let's see how do if we put out dope stuff on Amazon, new stories, new animated DC animated films with just if if they are successful, Brian, in delivering great as they have in the past, but now more on a consistent basis, Brian. This is this is the beginning of Amazon saying how much. Let's talk numbers now. And we'll take all that off your hands and you'll have quite a bit of cash to do whatever it is that you need to do and take care of. It'll be enough. Trust me. Yeah, because I mean, as we see, we we saw in the in the the calling of programming they did on the Discovery Plus app or the the HBO Max app. They took a lot of they took a lot of kids stuff off. They took a lot of animated stuff off. I think it's um, the old Cartoon Network is merging within Warner Brothers into, I think, DC Animation Studios. So, like, they're already consolidating a lot over there. And, like, obviously, we we, you know, we love Bruce Tim. Like, I'd be curious to see where he sits in this process, like where exactly his time is going to be divided, if he's still going to be spearheading original production solely for Warner Brothers, or is he now kind of straddling and, and helping Amazon or consulting with Amazon? Because Cape Crusader, he is one of the the architects of that i think you're going to see a mix i think you're going to see Am i think you'll see probably warner brothers keep the flagship stuff right like I, I think the justice league series of movies which has been or animated movies which has been very successful i think those will stay on the warner okay. Brothers side for now but i could see amazon saying like we'll take the offshoots we'll take the stuff that's satellite to that. Like if you don't, if you want to, you want to do an animated Green Lantern something, we'll do that. Like I, I could see that kind of being divided up so that you get a wider scope of animated projects across the two services. I think that's kind of what you're, what you're looking at. And then from there, like I said, I think Amazon's just going to, they're going to keep asking. They're going to keep asking as long as they can prove out that this is bringing audience. Yeah. Yeah. Very interesting situation, Brian. The the possibilities of Warner Brothers. Let's see, because it's not going to happen now. The testing ground for um, Peter Saffron and James Gunn is what? The four years that they've signed their contract for? So they got four years. What's that's how, how many movies is that you think, Brian? Uh, how many new movies? I mean, in four years, probably be like eight films being released. But I mean, like I said, next year's calendar is already kind of spoken for. So let's call it let's call it five to six. Let's say five to six films. OK, so you got five to six films to prove. You you can do what Marvel, what those guys are doing, <laughs> what we what we thought before. Oh, this is not a competition. Come on, man. I they're calling what. this straight up competition. This is what we want to do what they're doing. Let's do yeah. what they're doing. Yeah. Well, we've been saying do for the longest already. Anyway, go ahead. Yeah, but like I said, I can't see a scenario where this does not end with the Cape Crusader being the, the leadoff hitter. 
in this relationship. And that's got, I mean, how can you not be excited, man? Amazon's going to blow it out for that series. I can't wait, Brian. I, <laughs> I cannot wait. We have to do, Brian. With this is, I've been wanting to do this, Brian, for a long time. I like. I've been watching Batman the animated series. I could listen if I could do this all day long. I would. I would. I would. I would talk about each episode, and talk, and you know, and talk about those the, 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 each of those episodes. And now we get our chance to do it with the Cape Crusader, Brian. This is going to be, I can't wait for this. Uh, hopefully, when is this supposed to come out? Well, so the, remember, the production never stopped. So they're working okay. on it. But what I'm saying is that as, if this becomes part of the agreement, Amazon will be able to pump money into the production, into the animation process. So if they if they come in, they look at what they're doing. And like back in the day, people forget like, I mean, a season for that show was like how many episodes it was like 70 it was it was ridiculous how many, how many new half hours they were putting out because we'd watch it like after school like you know every day um yeah. so yeah i think that could you could see a scenario it was like whatever they thought i think it was supposed to be 10 like if amazon comes in and says screw that like let's do 20 let's do 25 let's do it like yeah let's do like an old school tv show we'll give you the money you right. Like you guys get in there and get the ideas and like, we'll make it look good. And the promotion they're going to throw behind. I mean, look at the rings of power promotion process they went through to get people, in, you know, aware of that series. They're going to be all over the place. Batman logos, Batman merch, all these things that they can cross promote. Like on the, it, it's a big right. deal. Again, I cannot wait. I am so excited for this. Um, but yeah, let us know in the comment section below what you guys think of this situation with DC animated content moving over to uh, Amazon. This is just the beginning. The next, how, well, how long would you think, Brian, till we get further updates on this situation? Oh, further updates, I think months, because like I said, if it is going to be Cape Crusader, they're going to try to get that sealed and promoted and at least into the ether as soon as possible. In terms of the slate, uh, I'd say sometime next year. I think by sometime next year, they'll probably have something to tell you at one of these Comic-Con type events of like, who's got what? Like, what's the initial plan that Amazon's getting versus like, you know, some, I think by the middle of next year, is when they're merging the HBO Max and Discovery Plus apps. So by then, I think they'll need to know what is Warner Brothers keeping. So let's call it like next summer. We'll have a sense of that division of DC Animated. All right. That's our show. Let us know what you guys think in the in the comment section below. Hit that like and subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. Share it with your friends and discuss in the comment section, man, because this is very interesting. We we'll see you next time on the Nerd Journey.